Hi guys, um, welcome to my first ever YouTube channel. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Tam. It's short for Tamara. I hate my name, so don't call me that. Um, anyway, um, I'm a makeup artist. Um, I just thought I'd introduce myself. I've been doing it for around six years now. Um, I've always been doing it freelance, like on a part-time basis. Um, but YouTube is something that I've been wanting to do for absolute ages. And I just thought... I'm rubbish, I'm crap, I'm just crap at doing YouTube videos, so I thought, right, I'll just ask around, see what the best things to do uh, is for a YouTube channel, uh, that even makes sense, um, and I just kind of wanted to get the best equipment so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing, because I've done YouTube videos before and it's like webcam and it's like, I look all green here, like the Samsung camera. Um, but uh, I really, really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and if you do enjoy this video, please feel free to subscribe down below. Um, and I look forward to seeing you more. Um, and I really, really hope you enjoy my videos. And um, yeah, let's get So this. the first video that... I wanted to do today was a smoky eye tutorial uh, so basically I did an Instagram poll and I wanted to let my followers decide which uh, video I wanted to put up first so it was between natural glam smoky eye and colour um, I love a good colour eye I'm not gonna lie but that will obviously kind of uh, come when you guys hopefully love my first video. Uh, so today I'm going to do a smoky eye. Uh, it's going to be a step by step so I'm going to talk all the way through it and I'm really really sorry if I bore you when I talk because I hate my accent, I hate my voice. But it's a bit tough because I don't want the um, farce with all this uh, YouTube copyright music shit like um, I just can't be bothered with it. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to talk all the way through it. I'll go through it with you step by step. I'll use, uh, I'll talk through the products that I use, um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll also post it in the description box down below which product I've used and where I've got them from. And I really, really hope you enjoy it. So, so first of all, guys, we're going to prep the face first. Um, and what I always like to do is start off with a primer. Um, so this one is from Primac, obviously. Uh, it's £2 and I swear down by it. Um, it hydrates and refreshes. Um, and it's also alcohol and oil free. So if you've got oily skin, um, it's really, really good for you. Uh, so what I do is I just give that a bit of a squirt on my face got dodgy pump on it as well Hello. Oh, but it, it makes you, your face feel so like refreshed it's weird okay, moving on um so i next i use a uh, nivea soft moisturizer um i get i got this from like home bargains or something it's like a couple of quid uh, you can use it on your body as as on your hands as well as your face uh, but I just tend to use it as a moisturiser. Uh, so always um, moisturise before applying any sort of product on your skin because it'll rip to shreds. Um, and I've got really, really dry skin anyway, especially in winter, so I like to like apply this first. I'm just like lathering it on here. But yeah. So, so next I'm going to do my brows, I always start off with my brows, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give them a little, oh I forgot to say, uh, I use the uh, NYX Micro Brow Pencil, um, NYX, M-Y-X, however you say it, um, this is what a lot of makeup artists use, um, so what I tend to do is I just tend to brush through my hairs because especially after using moisturiser it's a bit, mm. um, but that's that um and then i always use the other side um just to, I, I like to kind of do natural brows nowadays because like, i have used a pomade and i feel like it's a bit too thick sometimes just depends what mood i'm in really um so yeah so what i'm going to do is i've just got a like mirror down here uh, so i'm just literally going to draw a line under my brow um so at this point it doesn't really matter like if it's if it's messy or anything So yeah, as you can see, I'm just drawing a line underneath the brow, uh, and I'm going to repeat that. I 
and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of lightly fill it in by creating strokes upwards um, on the outside of my brow here because I want to make the brow look as natural and fluffy as possible. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw some lines upwards to make sure it kind of all blends in rather than just look like it's just been drawn on. And then as I get to the arch bit, I'm just going to kind of like gently draw sweeping motions across here so it all like blends in very nicely. Um, and then I finish off with my brows towards the end, but I'll show you guys that in a bit. Um, so I just want to kind of make sure that the, the brows have um, a shape before I move on to anything else. So. Okay, so next I'm going to use a Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer um, and it is the in the shade Medium Warm. I kind of just use this when I've not faked tan because I use like different shades. Like if I'll use like a, a colour um, kind of eyeshadow, I'll use a really, really light shade. It just brings the pigments out a lot more. Um, so I'm just going to use this one to help carve out my brow. Um, so I'm literally just going to apply a tiny little bit on the back of my... Uh, on my forehand um, and then this brush is the R&M concealer brush I actually got it off eBay um, it were only like a couple of quid but I just wanted something that was similar to the MAC 252 brush because I know they've stopped doing that I think um, so it's nice and flat and it's it's really good for carving out your brows as well um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply this carving underneath my brow where I've just drew a line um, so if you can see, I'm just going to kind of carve it that way. Because I've been doing this for ages, like I literally just get used to it. Um, but you, you do have to have like a really, really steady hand. But I always start from the arch of the brow. And then, and eventually I work my way up towards uh, the end of the brow, where it's more natural. And at the same time, I'm just patting it down, um, so it all blends in quite nicely. Before I apply any of the concealer base onto my lid, before I apply any eyeshadows on it. Uh, so I just want to make sure that this brow is nice and clean and carved. So that's the first step, so we've, not, we've got a nice clean carved out brow, um, so it's ready to have concealer patted over the top on the rest of the lid um, to create a perfect eyeshadow. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use the same concealer and the same brush, but I'm just going to like pat it onto the rest of my lid. Um, so this is going to be your eyeshadow base. Um, so again, I'm just going to put that on my forehand and I'm just going to... Uh, use my mirror because I can't see um, and I'm gonna you literally pat on the concealer so I'm not sweeping it or anything I'm just literally just patting it on um, and this is what P. Louise always says to like pat a pat pat so I'm gonna literally pat that on and I'm gonna make sure I work inside the socket of my eye as well um, because your colour is always going to be, well it's got to be blendable so I always make sure that I always go right on over here as well just to make sure that it's all blended in nicely. Um, this is sort of what I call a blank canvas, like when you're about to paint something it's got to be clean and it's got to be like acceptable to kind of create that perfect artwork. So as you can see I just keep patting, patting, patting until I'm satisfied with it. Um, so this is just basically your base blank canvas. 
and just make sure it's complete. So I've just zoomed in a little bit more just so that you can see. So now we're going to do the eyes. So first what I'm going to be using is the Lick and Lash Beauty Palette. Um, it's the Starlight one. Um, it's always sold out. Um, lightest brown shade. So I always like to go in with dark to light first. Um, and then I'm going to use like a base colour. So your base colour is your blending colour that you're going to use throughout the whole eye blade, like blending shading process. Um, so yeah, so the brush I'm going to use is a NYX brush that the number, of, I've used it that much that the number has faded, but it's basically a blending brush. Um, and it's quite fluffy on the top, so that's why I like using it. Um, so right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this little brown um, shade first. I say erm a lot, I'm quite nervous. I just hope this is alright for you guys. Um, so I'm just going to use a little tiny brush um, and a tiny bit of shadow and I'm just literally going to hold the end of my brush and I'm going to rely on the end to kind of blend that out. I'm going to hold it at the end as well because I don't want to apply too much pressure on it because I don't want it to be too harsh. Um, and I'm literally going to start with my eye socket. Like I've got really tiny small eyes anyway so I just kind of have to make it up that I make out that I've got a massive eye socket and I haven't. So I'm literally blending by making side to side movements um, and then I'm going to follow this all the way down. Um, so I kind of want to create like a shape for my eye. So I'm literally just ever so lightly blending it uh, into the crease of my eye. And I'll keep going back in with some shades as well. So it's going to show up quite light at first, but don't worry about that because you're going to eventually build, build and build your colours darker um, as we go along. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to so lightly drag this into the corner of my eye socket. So you're just basically just blending back and forth just to create this nice little shape. Um, like I said, my eyes are a dodgy shape anyway, so they won't be perfect. It won't be like it'd be a perfect round circle. Um, but this is what I usually do when I do like my smoky eye. So I think I think my favourite part of doing makeup is definitely eyeshadows because it's, there's just something so satisfying about blending like you don't even understand. Do you know what I mean? Somebody, somebody, somebody must like relate. Don't be like Jeffree Star, can't relate because you can. Um, if you're a makeup artist, it, oh, blending is just so satisfying and especially using like bright colours as well. Oh my god, I love that. Um, you know, if you put two colours together that you wouldn't expect to blend with, it's like, oh my god, I might try that. Um, so yeah, so once you're happy with it, um, we're then next going to go in with a base colour. So for your base colour, um, I'm going to blend out on the outside of the brown that I've just used. So I'm going to use a quite a smaller brush. So for this brush, I'm going to use the... Um, MSQ brushes, you can get them off eBay for about a couple of quid um, and you get like five in a pack. Oh my god, they're so nice and fluffy and they feel so nice on your eye as well. Um, I absolutely love them. So I would definitely invest in some of those if you're looking for like cheap quality brushes. Um, and I don't just use cheap stuff by the way, like I do get expensive stuff but I just kind of use what I think is affordable for me but then again good quality and because I believe that you don't have to go out and buy like an expensive brand and fork out hundreds of pounds on a kit or from Mac or whatever don't get me wrong I love them but I feel like if you can get just as good as a product from like Superdrug or Boots or something affordable at the drugstore why not like there's no need to spend so much money um, I made that mistake when I first started out, like I ended up spending like 500 quid on all this, all these different shades of foundation from Alaska, and then I just realised, well, why can't I just like mix them? Don't need to buy different shades because everyone's got different shades of skin colour, so why, why don't you just mix them, Tam? That's just me. 
Um, right, I'm just talking without even saying anything. So yeah, again, I'm using the Starlight palette from the Lick and Lash Beauty, but then I'm using a tiny little fluffy brush, and literally I'm gonna hold the end of the brush again, and I'm just gonna do sweeping motions, um, well, circular motions from left to right, just above where I've just applied the brown on my on my lid. Um, and I'm just going to ever so lightly go around the whole of the circle that I've just created um, and blend that brown out a lot more. I can hear my partner outside, he's got music on really, really loud. He's just literally just FaceTime me saying I'm on my way home, so make sure your windows and doors are locked so you can't hear my music and I can still hear it. <laughs> I love him. Can you hear it? God, it's so loud. He used to have a go at me for having music on really, really loud in car, so not since he's passed his test. Oh, God. Anyway, I like that song as well. It's by Dave. Send me the little location. So, yeah, so all I'm doing is I'm just kind of taking little tiny bits of product at a time and I'm just blending it all out. Um, it doesn't matter if you go inwards, like towards the lid, because like you're gonna go over it again with the same colour to kind of blow the smokes out a lot more. So I'm just literally making sure that there's no harsh brown lines on my lid because I don't want it to look like really, really like I don't basically want to want it to look like there's a line there and you can tell like, bitch, that's not blending. That's not blending. Um, so. I'm just blending that out a lot. So until you're happy with it, which I think I am, um, then we're going to move on to the next step. So I'm quite happy with that, it's all blended out nicely um, and then we're going to go back in with the same shade um, with the previous brush that we used which is the blend. Uh, so then, um, just so you guys can see, um, well, not that, um, so I'm just going to use like a darker kind of brown now from the same palette, with the same brush as you can see um, and then again I'm just going to work that into uh, my crease so I'm going to make it a lot more darker this time. So I'm just going to again hold the end of my brush like so. I'm going to use blending motion, so circular motions to blend that colour in. Then again, I'm going to make sure that I work it down into my lid so it's all blended into my lid as well. So I'm literally just going to sweep that across. Make sure that's all blended in. You can never go wrong with a smoky eye though, like literally. And then what I do is, I'm just going to go back in with my base colour and make sure that the outside is all nice and blended uh, before I move on to anything else. So I'm just going to go around the outside and just blend that in. Okay, so now you've both got your smoky eyes ready to go. Um, what I tend to use now, um, because I've got such thin eyes, I don't tend to do my eyeliner too dramatic. So I'm just literally going to apply eyeliner on the um, lid in... On the, on the lash line, that's it. Uh, so I'm going to apply um, Collection Fast Truck Eyeliner. Um, I like using Collection because it's cheap and affordable, but then again, they have got really, really good quality products. Um, but with the when I apply black eyeliner, I always like to pat it on top with this bad boy. So this is a technique brush. And again, I don't really know what number it is because I've used it that much. Um, so literally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the liner and then I'm going to pat it on top with this brush using some black eyeshadow from the same palette from Wicked Lash Beauty. 
Um, so, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply that on my lash line. Um, I don't really tend to do flicks because they don't suit me, but sometimes, sometimes I can't bother to do them because they're like really, really annoying. But I will post a tutorial for um, eyeliner um, one day <laughs> if I feel more confident. So I'm literally just going to apply that on my lash line. Thing is, it's such like the product's really, really fast drying, and it's like, oh god. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to quickly before it dries, use the brush and pat on some black eyeshadow onto what I've just done. So this is going to help the um, eyeliner set a lot more as well um, and it's going to give you that nice kind of smoky effect. Um, it's not that because it just takes ages sometimes to wait for eyeliner to dry so I find that this is a really good um, way of doing it. And I don't always like my eyeliner like neat. Uh, because it's just just so that when you put your lashes on and in your mascara it doesn't look like you've got a gap in your eye. Do you know what I mean? And it adds to that smoky kind of effect. Oh say, oh say, oh say. Okay, so I've just applied some mascara. I've used the Elf Cosmetics mascara. Um, I don't think you guys need a tutorial of how to put mascara on, surely. But if you do, I will do one for you. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply my lashes next. So I kind of. Um, get my lashes from a supplier from eBay um, so I get like a mixed combination for like £4 and you get like loads of like wispy lashes, natural lashes but I don't do natural lashes because I'm just like extra like all the time so I kind of just use these like fluffy ones here um, so they're really really nice uh, to apply as well and it gives you kind of a natural well it's not natural but it's natural to me if that makes any sense at all um, so what I usually use is the Isla Lash Fix Glue. Um, it is also a clear finish as well, so it dries clear. It doesn't have that kind of white, or it doesn't like take off your makeup. If that makes any sense, because um, sometimes you can get um, like black um, eyelash glues, and they're not for me. I'm not about that life. So. I'm just going to apply this on the lash band um, and then I actually got some uh, lash applicators from uh, Unicorn Cosmetics, um, Unicorn Lashes Cosmetics, yeah, um, and this is so much easier to kind of, sorry it's really really dirty, <laughs> but it's so much easier to kind of apply a lash, especially if you're not used to them, but I'm just going to show you guys anyway. Um, so I'm literally going to use the applicator to get hold of my lash um, and then how I'm going to apply them is I always focus... I always give it a bit of a waft first before I apply it, usually about 10 seconds. Uh, so it goes like really, really tacky like your ex. Um, and then what I do is I concentrate on the middle first. So what I do is I just kind of, I always make a really, really big mess when I put lashes on. So I apply it to the middle and then I use the applicators to kind of put my lash down. I'll probably end up using my fingers soon because I'm not used to it, see? Um, sometimes it is easy to use your finger but when you've been doing it a while you kind of just get into that habit um, so yeah so try and use your applicators to kind of stick the corners down I know loads of people said to me I can't apply the eyelashes like they're just the hardest thing ever um, but they're really really not like when you get used to them I mean Having a lash applicator is really, really easy, so I would definitely invest in one of these if you struggle putting your lashes on. Um, this one was given by to me um, in a kit by Unicorn Cosmetics because I promoted their uh, products once upon a time. Um, so I kind of got this free, but the, you can even get them from Primark. They're not even that expensive, but they're really, really worth getting if you do struggle with applying eyelashes. Um, so next, I'm gonna now your eyelashes are on and you're looking like a boss ass bitch. Um, <laughs> I make me sound cringe sometimes. Um, so next I'm going to use the Lasting Colour, Lasting Colour, I can't even speak, Lasting Colour Gel Eyeliner from Collection in black. Um, so I always like to do this in my eye because 
I just, I'm obsessed with having like a black smoky eye at the minute. Um, so I'm just going to use a little brush. I can't, I got this off eBay. It's, it's meant to be a lip application brush. Um, but I just use it for eyeliner because it's easier. So <laughs> I'm literally just going to apply that on both sides of my brush and I'm just literally going to glide it along my lash line. But I'm kind of smudging it into my lashes, bottom lashes at the same time because I want it to look like smoky. And again, like I did with eyeliner on the top of my lid, I'm going to apply um, some black eyeshadow over the top just so it sets in place. Um, and I'm already looking like Kim K, oh my god. So. It tickles as well, like, when I do it on clients, they're like, oh, I'm like, oh, God, don't worry, it's fine. I can imagine when somebody else does it to you though, it's like, oh my god, what are you going to do to my eye? Um, but anyway, so yeah, so I'm just going to use that little tiny brush again. Um, and again, using my Lick and Lash Beauty palette, I'm just going to use the black shade and I'm just going to literally go over what I've just done. So I'm literally going to like, very quickly, just kind of smudge it in to my lash line. So it sets nicely. Um, I'm really intrigued. I can't talk. Um, intrigued to use like a neon kind of liner. I know the P. Louise um, rain, acid rain collection has come out and it looks absolutely amazing. I'm definitely going to invest in it because they've brought like a neon colour out. And oh my god, I love it. I'm going to apply concealer under my eye again. So again, I'm going to be using if I can get it. So you can see my ugly mug now. Oh my god, I've lost it. Where's it gone? Oh, it's here. <laughs> right, so it's uh, again Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Medium uh, Warm, or Warm Medium, in fact, number three. Um, and I'm just going to apply that under my eye just so that we've got a base before we apply any eyeshadows like we did before. And again, I'm just going to use my flat concealer brush to pat that in. Um, so you have to be very careful because we've just applied black eyeshadow. It's the worst to get out if you like blending and stuff because oh god. This is why I do my eyes first because if you do your face there's nothing worse than using a dark black eyeshadow and it just drips all over your face and it's like oh my god I've got to wipe it off and do it all again. So this is why I always do my eyes first because I think your eyes is the most messiest bit. So again I'm just going to pat that in. It's all nice and clean. There's something satisfying about concealer as well. I don't know what it is, but I just love it. I love it. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to use a different brush for the bottom lashes. So I'll, if I can find it in my box of secrets, um, I'm going to use a technique brush, so it's like an angle brush, so you usually use it for brows, but I just find it easier to do bottom. Um, I don't use the same brushes for the bottom because it does get messy and I want it to be neat. And it's it'll save you time as well in the long run. So if you use like big, thick, fluffy brushes, you have to blend it out and then you have to wipe it away so it's not like really, really down your face here, because there's nothing worse. So I'm going to use this angle brush. And then I'm going to go in again with the same shades that we used. So I'm going to use the first brown that I used to apply under my eye. I'm just literally going to drag that on and smudge it in. And then I'm going to use another one of my MSQ brushes, which is quite small and thin, but it's really, really good for blending out the bottom, the uh, eyeshadows on the bottom of your eye. Um, and then again, I'm going to go in with the base colour that we use for the blending. Um, but I'm going to do circular motions underneath. I think this is the, the if I'm going like glam glam, this is what I'll do, um, this is my go-to, but I do like using colours, but sometimes I'm not brave enough to go outside in public and, and wear coloured eyeshadow, 
I have before, but I don't know, like when you get used to something, you just want, you kind of want to stick to it. And then again, I'm going to go back in with the uh, angle brush from Technique and I'm going to go in with the same brown and kind of smudge that in again. And you're just kind of going back and forth and back and forth until you're happy with the um, end result. Um, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with taking your time uh, with blending, especially when with makeup, because it's not it's something that you can't really rush. Like, it's something that you need to... And then one last thing that I do um, to add a bit of touch to my eyes is I use the same kind of flat brush that I used to blend out the bottom of my eye just then. Um, but I use a bit of highlighter, so it makes the eyes pop a lot more, especially if you're doing like a smoky eye. So I use the Doll Beauty Light um, in the shade Shine Bright. Um, I need some more of this because it looks like literally... This is how much I love you, Doll Beauty. I need more. Um, it's lasted me, just to be fair. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to apply um, a bit of highlighter in the inner corner of my eye. <gasps> I'm so shook. It's amazing. This highlight it, it is amazing. So, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to uh, highlight the arch of my brow. Um, so it all blends in nicely. Oh, God. I, do, I don't think that I'd use another highlighter either. Like, I just literally love Doll Beauty so much. Like, it just stands out. To back nines. Oh, my God, my baby. Yeah. Literally, I've not even done anything with my hair today. I woke up at quarter past seven, set off for work, my other job. At half past seven, and I made it. Guys, now we're moving back on to the face. I know that you've missed my skin so much. So, what I'm going to do is first, I always like to apply a um, primer. Um, for the reason being is, um, I always tend to get really, really oily on my nose and my T zone. So, this is why I like to use a collection primed and ready primer. Um, it's a mattifying pore minimizer, so basically, if I put it on my oil, on my oily sections, um, it's going to make that stand out a lot more, um, and it's going to give me more of a, a better coverage. So I like to put this on my nose. Everybody's skin's different, so you don't have to follow my my rules, um, but I kind of just tend to put it in areas where I feel like I get dry a lot. So I'll put it on my chin, my nose, and then obviously my T zone as well, because um, that's where it gets most dry. And then for foundation, um, I use the 24 hour full coverage foundation Superstay from Maybelline. Uh, it's like exactly the same as MAC Studio Fix um, and it's really really good coverage. And um, because I'm not fake tanned and I'm a pale ass bitch, um, I'm going to use in the shade Ivory today. <laughs> um, so I'm just getting organised now. So I'm just, what I tend to do with foundation, I don't use a like a crap flat foundation brush. I use the fluffiest brush that I can find um, and this I got out of a set for Christmas from TK Maxx um, and I use this because it's like the fluffiest. I find the fluffiest the better when it comes to blending your foundation out. So I'm going to use this. I usually apply it on my hand as well. <gasps> I'm running out of foundation. I need to get some more. So I'm literally going to pat this on. As you can see. Like, the brush feels really, really nice on my skin as well. So, I mean, this is going to be a hard one, getting you the link for the brush. Because I got it from TK Maxx, and if anyone knows TK Maxx, like, when you walk in, it's like a jumble sale. So, like, if you don't expect to go in and see the same thing all the time, it's different things. So, I don't even think that it might exist anymore, because this was Christmas two years ago when I got these. So... If you can find the fluffiest brush, then you'll be well away. You'll honestly love it. So as you can see, I'm kind of blending down um, onto my neck because I don't want any like orange lines or anything, even though I'm not orange because I'm not fake tanned. Um, and I'm literally just patting it on first for the application. And... Um, my baby eyes getting in the way. Mm. 
and I kind of like scrunch it up a bit just to kind of make sure I get all the nooks and crannies. I use a concealer so I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Anti-Asia Razor Concealer um, and it is in the shade Light um, and it's got like a little sponge on the end you've probably seen it before I need some new new bits of this actually so I'm literally going to apply that underneath my eye um, I'm quite messy when it comes to that and I always do it like here where my no just the end of my nose is um, so this is going to be where you uh, contour and highlight so you're going to be doing your, your powder and stuff like that um, so I do it on my cheeks I do it on my chin top of my nose above my lip and on the forehead where my t-zone is then what I also like to use because like I'm so extra I like to use the Primark My Perfect Colour Concealer Stick now this is in the shade Caramel because I always usually fake tan but I use it anyway if I don't fake tan because I feel like it gives you that bit of a contour and definition so it's just this bad boy I think it was about two quid you can't go wrong so what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on where my bronzer is going to go so I'm going to go on the corner of my head here and I'm going to follow down where I want my bronzer to go so I'm not going any further down um, cream contouring I'd say is probably the easiest I mean with the right brushes of course because I feel like beauty blenders just don't work for me like I'd rather just use brushes like I've tried using beauty blenders before but they're just they're just not my friend so yeah so I'm going to apply it on the cheeks I'm going to apply it on my nose because I, I like my nose to look a bit more narrow because I've got um, really big nostrils as you can see um, and then I like to work it in on the corners of my forehead just above as you can see it's not neat at all I don't understand how people can take time to just do it really really neat um, so that's literally all I do for contouring I look like an Indian at the minute I should audition for Pocahontas or something um, and then what I'll do is I'll get like a thick brush like this. I got this from Primark. It's a HD Kabuki brush 101. Um, and I don't even know what it's for, but I just kind of pick brushes up and think, oh, this would, this would be good for like blending and blending your foundation if you do cream contouring and stuff like this. So all the brushes that it's meant to be for, I don't use it for that. <laughs> so, but anyway, I got this from Primark and this is a really good blending brush that I use for cream contouring. So I'm literally just going to blend this in by giving it a good uh, pat um, just to make sure that it's all like blended in nicely and again uh, when it comes to filling in the nooks and crannies um, you're just going to go back in with your little brush to kind of do that so I'm literally just patting it on um, I used to like put it on top of here but I only do that if I fake tan because like if I'm pale, like Wednesday off Adam's family, um, I'm just going to look weird. So let's not do that. So I'm making sure that I pat it as much as I can so it's all blended in nicely. Um, oh, as you can see, this, it's just so much difference. Like it's so, it's so good. Um, again, cream contouring, affordable. Um, I mean, the concealer was quite pricey. I think it was about six or seven quid. Uh, well, pounds. If you're not from UK, you won't know what I'm on about. Um, if you're not in the UK, you won't get my vibe. Um, but, you know, if you look at other makeup artists, what they use, like, I'm quite an honest person anyway. So if a product doesn't work for me, I'm not going to promote it, you know. So like for the likes of like Holly Boone and stuff like beauty bloggers like she says it how it is and that's what I prefer people to be like because imagine like spending so much money on a product and it not working like that just been my worst nightmare like I've, I've wasted 20 30 pound on this product and it doesn't even work and you tell me it did so so then again I'm going to use my tiny brush and make sure I've got all the nooks and crannies so I'm just going to make sure that this conceal is all blended nicely into my eyeshadow so there's no like dark circles or anything. Just 
there's just something on there. something satisfying about everything like i've said this like five times in this video but i'm just going to say it again something satisfying about blending what i'm going to do is i always like to go in with my bronzing first so i'm going to use the hula light uh, benefit um and it's a very very lightish blonde bronzer 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 um so for that i'm going to use a techniques brush again it's a contouring brush um so again i'm not using it for the right things or am i i don't know anyway so i'm going to apply this on my brush and i'm literally going to do circular motions where i've just applied my cream contouring so the darkest one that i've used so i'm kind of just doing like a, a c shape because i want my cheeks to like stand out a lot But, oh, this bronzer smells so nice as well. I got it out of um, a kit for Christmas, actually. But they're like mini ones, and I, I just thought, I've never tried Benefit before, so this would be really good for me to just try it out. And I, I definitely feel like I'm going to buy this bronzer in the future because I really, really am happy with it. So all I'm doing is I'm just literally, where I've drawn my cream contour I'm just literally going over it with bronzer um, just to give that extra effect so I'm just blending that out quite nicely I'm using my setting powder so I'm going to be using the revolution luxury powder in the shade banana um, you can get this from Superdrug or Boots for about a fiver I know they've started doing it in Superdrug now um, and then I'm just going to be using a, a random brush just to pack it onto my skin. Don't ask me where I got I think I got this from Skegness Market, actually. can't remember. But anyway. Um, so where you've just done your concealer, applied your concealer, I'm just going to pat on the powder just to set it in place so there's no creases or anything. I like to do it on my um, smile line as well because... I do laugh a lot, which is a good thing, but um, I like to apply that on there as well so there's no like cracks or anything. And then we're just going to let that set for a couple of minutes. Um, so while we're waiting for that, um, I always like to uh, go back to my brows. Um, yeah, so next I'm going to go in with my brows while we're waiting for that to set. So I'm literally just going to use a Technique Brow Gel. Um, I just got this from like... Uh, oh God, I got it from like Amazon, that's it. Um, but you can, I don't know where you can get it in the shops though, but I had to order mine online. So literally all I'm doing is I am just brushing my hairs up. So they all like blend in. So, as you can see, it's like a really, really nice, natural, fluffy brow that I have. Oh my god, I've just had some like mushroom rice as well, and it's all over my lip. So, I do that. I'm literally just going to use an angled brush, and I'm just going to wipe away the excess powder. Um, so you don't want it looking crusty, like a cob. Um, so, there we have it. Then next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply some um, Rimmel London Insta Fix and Go 2 in 1 Primer and Setting Spray. Uh, this is about £6 I believe um, and I also like to do this before applying any highlight because it makes you glow better. Um, you want to glow like a goddess, that is the aim here. Uh, so I'm just going to apply that over my face. Oh it smells so nice, so that smells like cucumbers. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> So, um, again, I'm going to be using my Doll Highlight, uh, Doll Beauty Highlight in the shade Shine Bright. Um, and then I'm going to be using a um, soft little highlight brush, which again, I got from uh, TK Maxx, I believe. So then what I'm going to do is, I'm just literally going to apply just above the um, bronzer where I applied. And I'm literally just going to lightly work that in. Um, I'm just going to stop to about here um, and I'm going to apply that really up towards the corner. I use loads of highlights so it's like, mm, I wonder I've got none left. Oh, it's 
so amazing. I love this highlight so much. And I tend to literally apply it um, on my cheeks, obviously, on my nose, on my chin, um, and above my lips, just basically where I've like concealed. Um, and then again, I like to finish it off with just in my T-zone, um, just above the end of my brow. Um, and apply more if needed. I like to be shiny like a disco. Yeah. Actually, one last thing that I forgot to use, I forgot to use the Benefit Dandelion Bronze. Uh, Benefit Dandelion Blusher, um, so again I'm just going to use like a random angle brush and I'm just going to apply that on the apples of my cheeks. Um, it's it's quite um, a suitable blusher for people who have pale skin like me. Um, and it also smells so nice, I can't really think of what it smells like. I want to say flowers or soap. It's, it's, last but not least, I'm going to apply the lip liner. So what I tend to use is, is the NYX Professional Makeup Slide On, Glide On, Stay On and Definitely A Turn On Waterproof Extreme Colour Lip Liner. So that's a really, really big title. Wow. This lip liner is so good, the name had to be this long. Well, it is good, I'm not going to lie. Um, and this is in the shade Urban Cafe. So it's like a nice browny colour. I like to do an ombre lip. That's that's definitely my thing. So because I've got quite big lips, by the way, I've not had them done. These are my natural lips before anyone asks. Um, so I'm going to lip line my lips. Can't talk. Oh my god. That's because that's because I've talked. That's why it's gone messy. So. I'm going to fly that. So I'm not making my lips bigger than what they actually already are, by the way. Um, so then to do the ombre effect, I'm just going to draw um, in the corners of my lips. So I'm just going to shade it in a little bit. in the corners doesn't have to be perfect, it's going to be messy at first and then what I like to do is to, to, do is, to use is the NYX lingerie gloss in the shade uh, butter so this is like a lip gloss slash lipstick and I absolutely love it and it smells really nice like strawberries or something. Again, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to apply that on the top. And I think it just blends in like really nicely. So I've like nearly used all of this lipstick because I use it that much. But there you have an ombre lip. So you see what I mean? Um, let's clean that up. Um, so this is the finished look. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please hit the subscribe button down below. Again, I will put all the products that I've used in the description box as best as I can remember um, and the equipment that I've used as well, just to help you guys out if you are starting out a YouTube channel like myself. Um, I will do another poll. Um, I'm probably going to do like a more of a colour dye next time because a lot of people do ask me how to do that. Um, but like like I said, hit the subscribe button, please like, um, it really means so much to me if you can help me build this um, YouTube channel and make it a really, really big success. Um, and I will speak to you guys later.